What's up, pranksters? Welcome back. I'm sure you guys are familiar with these. These are party poppers. We use them to celebrate, especially during the new year. And since it's January, I have a bunch of leftover from this past New Year's Day. And I'm gonna show you a few hacks that will come in handy to you guys. So you guys can do this and get it going. Check it out. All right, so this is the party popper that I just set off. You guys saw that at the beginning of this video. Well, we're gonna use this to create a little bell. For that, we're gonna need a little rattle that we're gonna put inside. We've already gutted it out, so there's nothing in there but the little rattle. Then we're gonna put the piece that goes on the bottom, which is made of cardboard, and that's it. We have ourselves a little bell. So keep this handy at your desk, and if you need something, just rattle it. And that's it. Now, let's say you misplaced your bottle cap, so you don't know where it's at, and you need to close your water bottle, or whatever it is that you're drinking. Well, a good way to do that is, of course, to use a party popper. Now, this party popper has already been set off, so there's nothing in there. I'm gonna put it over the bottle, so it should be fairly snug, but you will be able to seal it off. And look at that, guys. Now, you can keep your contents fresh. For example, if this was soda, it would keep it from going flat. You guys know that in the past, I've made a lot of pen pranks. And usually I have to fill them up with liquid. Well, I always struggle to do that. So I'm going to show you a way that you guys can use a party popper as a funnel. First thing I'm going to do is, of course, empty out the pen. I'll be removing the ink. And I'll just be left with the tube. Now, on the party popper itself, there's a little hole on the tip. I'm going to make it a bit larger so that liquid can flow through it. Then you're going to position the party popper over the opening of the pen like this. So now you can pour the contents inside. For example, I'm gonna pour some water inside. Look at the water inside. So you guys can use the party popper as a funnel in any way that you guys need. So figure out a way that you guys can use this. For this next hack, we're gonna be making a flower holder. For that, you're gonna need, of course, a party popper and a bottle cap. Oh, and did I forget to mention we're gonna be needing some rice? Well, that too. So we're gonna start off by filling the party popper with rice. So add as much as you can fit inside. Oh, I just made a mess. It's totally worth it though, guys. Then I'm gonna put the bottle cap over it to cover the rice so it does not go anywhere. And we're pretty much done. Right here on the tip, on the top of the party popper, there's already an opening there. We're gonna make it a bit larger. And what I have here is a flower. It's fake, yeah, but it's very decorative. So this is a good way to decorate your desk at the office. And then just uh, insert the flower in like this. And that's it, guys. Look at that. The rice helps it weigh it down the party popper so that the flower doesn't tilt over. Look at that beautiful flower. All right guys, here's a great way to make yourself a little air freshener for your office or anywhere where you're usually at. For this, you're gonna need some fabric softener. Now these are little crystals. These are very common when it comes to doing laundry. We'll be taking our party popper and we'll be turning it over like this. We're gonna be filling it up with these little crystals. These smell delicious by the way. So let's pour some in there. It's gonna seem a bit familiar like the rice we just poured in. These have a strong scent and I'm using lavender for this. So see the little crystals right there? That works for me. Next I'm gonna put the water bottle cap over it. So it's secured on, just like this. And on the top, I'm gonna cut off the tip. Just like that. So now the scent can come out through the opening up there and you'll be smelling the freshness of the fabric softener crystals all day. It smells really, really good, guys. It smells like fresh laundry. The following is a problem that a lot of people go through. For example, I have a, a Sharpie right here. Now these guys, it's easy to lose the cap. And once you lose the cap, of course the Sharpie will go bad because the tip will dry up. Well, a good way to conserve the tip is the following. Just take a party popper like the one I have here. All you guys gotta do is jam the pen inside and it'll protect it. Just look. 
I know it might not look that appealing, but guys, believe me, this will protect your Sharpie or any marker that you might have lost the cap to. Next up, I'm gonna show you a little example how you guys can make a salt shaker using a party popper. Of course, for this example, I'll be using some tenderizer because I do not have any salt available. All right, so before you begin, make sure that you have gutted out everything from inside of this party popper. It needs to be completely empty like the one you see right here. We're gonna take a little piece of tape to cover the opening on the bottom, or should I say top, this little hole needs to be covered. That works for me. All right, that is perfect. Next up, we're gonna fill it up with some meat tenderizer. So, I'm gonna fill it up. That works for me. Now, I'm gonna set it aside because next up, we're gonna be working on the water bottle cap that we'll be using. Now, this one, of course, doesn't have the little openings like this. So, we just gotta poke them. With a pair of scissors, start making holes on top of the cap. Alright, so the size of the holes will be up to you. You guys can make them small or large, depending on your preference. Look at that, guys. So I got as many holes as I could fit on there. I'm gonna put this on the party popper. Look at that, guys. We have our little salt shaker, meat tenderizer. Look at that. Just shake. When you lay it on its side, nothing really spills out. It only comes out when you shake it. Just like that. It's a great way to recycle a party popper. We're gonna be using this party popper to make a little top to spin. So what I have here is a push pin. That's all we're basically gonna need. I'm gonna take some glue. I'm gonna glue this onto the bottom of the party popper. And as you guys can see, this party popper hasn't even been set off yet. This is a brand new party popper. So I'm just gonna glue this right on the center, on the bottom, like so. Make sure it's super straight, guys. We're gonna let this dry, and we're gonna take it for a spin, literally. All right, so it's straight up. Let's see how well this really works. <laughs> it kinda does, right? It's up to you, really. Oh, this is kind of fun. And like I said guys, I haven't really set this off yet. And at this point, I don't think I want to because the push pin will fly off. Watch. Should I do it or not? If you do this, please make sure nobody's in front of you. You don't want to poke anybody. <laughs> Next up, we're going to be making a toothbrush holder. That's right guys, we'll be using a party popper to hold our toothbrush. First thing we're gonna do is cut off the tip of this party popper. And as you guys can see, this one's already been popped. It's empty, so that works for us. So with my scissors, all I gotta do is cut. And, well, I might've cut more than I should have, but that's fine. Look at that. Then I'm gonna take my toothbrush and feed it through from the top to the bottom. That's it, guys. And to attach it onto the wall, we'll be using a thumbtack. So the thumbtack, I'm going to pierce through the inside and out the outside like this. And then attach this on your wall and you're good to go, guys. For this last hack that I'm going to show you, we'll be using a party popper to make drinking a bit better and easier for us when we go hiking or are doing activities such as sports. So first thing we're going to do is take a water bottle. We'll be needing the cap. We'll be tampering with the cap just a little. So on the center of the cap, we're gonna be making a hole. So with my scissors, I'm gonna pierce a hole right on the center. And then I'm gonna twist it just to enlarge that hole. That works for me. Next, we're gonna take our party popper and we're pretty much gonna cut off the whole body of it. So, so basically right where the label was wrapped around, that's what we're gonna cut. And we'll be left with the top. And the top is all we'll need. At this point, this is what it should look like. We're gonna center this on the bottle cap so that the holes are aligned. The top hole of the party popper and the hole on the bottle cap. So once we know they're aligned, we're gonna glue them on. So of course, get some hot glue and attach them together. 
just like this. Perfect. We're gonna let this dry and I'm gonna give you an example of how this is all gonna look. Now the hole on the top of the party popper depends on you guys. So if you guys wanna make it larger than you can or leave it as is, this is where the little string was at. So I'm gonna make mine a bit larger because I like getting big sips of water. Now it's time to screw it back on. So twist the cap back on the water bottle like so. And let's test out this hack. Look at that guys, it works to perfection. And that's it guys, 10 awesome party popper hacks that will come in handy for whatever reason you need them for. For example, right here, I made it easier for me to drink my water when I'm outside doing activities and I just need to take a quick sip of my water, I can easily do that, look. It's so simple. Well guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you gave this video a thumbs up. I hope these hacks come in handy anytime, anywhere, for whatever reason. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking out this video. I'll be coming at you with more hacks, more pranks soon. So make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel with the bell notifications turned on. I'll see you pranksters in my next video. See, they fit in perfectly. Look at that. You have three cheese sticks. Again, you're super hungry and you're craving your hot Cheetos. So just pull up the wristband get a hot Cheeto, and then put everything back. Our book is ready now, pranksters. Let's open it up. So what kind of things can we put in here? Well, you can put your Lunchables in there. They fit in perfectly. Well, how about a Hot Pocket? Perfect. How about this yummy pizza? Nice. And what about my favorite, Hot Wings?